Hello, world singers. My name is Tyler. And my name is Brooke. And this is Cosmere Cosmere Conversations. Conversations. Wonderful. We are here doing a very special and exclusive event, the Cosmere Fellowship Draft. I'm very excited. I'm excited too. I've been building this up for like a month and a half now. And And you've been pretty into it. I just got into it like two hours ago. (laughs) Even better. So we have a couple of patrons that have joined us via Discord and are going to participate in the draft. You may be hearing their little notifications going off in the background. That's how we let you know that they are involved for this first and maybe only Cosmere Fellowship Draft. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. What we are going to do is have a snake style draft, just as you would see in your favorite sports team on draft day. But instead, we will be creating a fellowship, not of the ring, but of the Cosmere to go on a journey, an adventure, a task. Yeah, an adventure of your choice, I would say. Exactly. It's a choose your own adventure experience, building your fellowship team from the Cosmere And we're just going to do this in a draft style to create a little bit of interest and intrigue and uh, some mystery as well. (laughs) So the way that we are going to organize this is that there will be three drafting individuals known as creators here because they're creating their fellowship for us. And those three creators will be one, myself, Brooke, and our collective Patreon team. So today we, represented by Brian and Will. Thank you both to them. We are going to use that snake style draft. Draft order has been predetermined. Oh, it has. Yes, it has been predetermined. What did, did you do? A random number generator? Or something? I did use a random number okay. generator to <laughs> throw like, the three. Me p- first. Yes, me first, <laughs> me second, and me third. He's like, actually, I already decided. <laughs> no. Unfortunately, the... Yeah, super professional, says Brian. (laughs) It's not on the up and up. This is all secretive. So the draft order has been selected as such. Brooke has the first draft position. Ooh. Yeah, now she likes it. Now now it's all good. (laughs) And our collective Patreon team has the second position. I have the third position. Okay. Random number generator was not as nice to me as you thought it was going to be. (laughs) So that's the order we're going to use. Bouncing through, each person will select one individual at a time from across the Cosmere. And the only kind of caveat is that there are four rounds for the creator to fill four different roles. Do you want to go over those roles for us, Brooke? Yeah, we've got the party leader, the fighter, the scholar, and the wild card. Each team has to have those four roles, so there will be four rounds total, and the collective Patreon team will be using their own discretion, their representative's discretion, but also some input from other patrons as well who submitted their stuff ahead of time. Are there other rules and regulations that you want to go over up front, or do you just want to discover stuff as it happens? I think we can just sort of jump in and see what comes up. Okay. I want to at least, though, set these very basic ground rules, which is that a draft selection can be labeled with a time in the story, time in the Cosmere. So for example, anyone could select a character and then say a time for that character. At a specific point. Yes. As an example, Kaladin at the end of A Rhythm of War versus Kaladin in The Way of Kings. I don't know why a person would do that, but they are allowed to do that and use that time label any way that they see fit. However, this does create an interesting conundrum because we have some banned characters from the draft. Functionally too powerful Throws off the balance a little bit too much, but really we make all the rules. So this is just banned because we don't want to deal with these specific (laughs) Cosmere characters. 
In that category, we are including shards and slivers, heralds, and any and everything around the secret projects or anything that is not published. If there is any problems or questions about drafts or, you know, roles that people may be serving in, it just goes to a collective vote of the other participants to decide the validity of that selection. And let's go to a drum roll to intro the draft. Would you like to start us off, Brooke, with the very first overall draft selection Ooh, this is for so the Cosmere exciting. Fellowship? Okay. Well, I want to start with with my circumstances, with the adventure that I have chosen. Okay. Just so for just for context tell the around story. my picks. Yeah, absolutely. You can do this at the this end, is what at the beginning. really started to get me into it. Once I like kind of knew what the adventure was. Then okay. I was like, okay, cool. Now I'm in. I actually had a similar thing. I had kind of a vague idea of what I wanted to accomplish or wanted the team to accomplish. Mm -hmm. And then my team started to grow around that idea. So go ahead. Yeah. Fill us in. Okay. So my idea is that it is a quest, uh, sort of an adventure for like knowledge and artifacts throughout the Cosmere. Okay. And pr imagining that this group is primarily traveling through the cognitive realm. So could be encountering who knows what, any number of things, kind of have to be ready for anything. One part Indiana Jones, one part Ocean's 8 with like a dash of national treasure wow. thrown in. Okay, I'm down for all those yeah. parts. <laughs> we have... National Treasure, Indiana Jones, and Ocean's 8. Yes, because one of my other ideas was I wanted to try to incorporate as many female characters as possible. So that's my circumstance for my draft. And With your first overall selection, tell yeah. us about it. My first selection is going to be Chris as my party leader. Wow. Chris Sala, yep. Cosmere Scott, the patron yep. saint of The Duchess Cosmere. Chris Sala. The Duchess is your party leader. Okay, bold call. I am going to, just for organizational sake, add this to our draft board. First overall selection is Chris. Amazing decision. I think that this is bold and your description of Indiana Jones, Ocean's 8, and national treasure yeah leads me directly to chris exactly i think that that is perfect she's got all of the knowledge she has a lot of experience traveling around the cosmere so i feel really good about her ability to unite the team and like provide direction wonderful excellent description okay now we are going to give the draft floor over to the collective Patreon, represented by Brian and Will. They are going to help us make a decision for first team selection for the patrons. Brian Will, on the chat, let us know who your selection is. In whatever time works for you. There's no pressure at all? <laughs> yeah, no pressure. There's some discussion going on. This is getting heated. I'm going to hold off on all opinions because I don't want to like give anything away or give any pressure to the patron team right now. This is all on you. The phrase is you're on the clock, but there's no actual clock. <laughs> okay, it looks like there's a kind of general agreement, and we are expecting a first overall selection for the patron team coming in any moment now. I like the options that are being thrown out. These are all good considerations. Okay, there we go. Yasna has been drafted as the scholar for the patron team. Great choice, obviously. <laughs> I want to right now just vent my frustration uh, because no joke. Is that your first choice? That was my first choice. First overall, I was like, I would take it in every position. Queen Yasna, wait, there is a time ability that they can select and they're still negotiating about like when they're selecting Yasna. But let's just expect fourth ideal Yasna, totally rocking it, live in large, one of the greatest scholars in Rashar history. Certainly questionable greatest scholar in Cosmere history. Okay, they say they're going to take Rhythm of War, fourth ideal Yasna. Great choice, obviously. And they say she could do multiple things here, but as a scholar, she's able to do so much more. Totally agree. I think her strengths are definitely her scholarship. Yeah. Like, I think she's a good leader, mm -hmm. but 
better as a scholar, in my opinion. If I can just vent some of what I was going to say when I selected Yasna, she is <laughs> not only a brilliant scholar and someone who's very mentally focused, able to lead a team just from the scholar position as a fourth ideal Knight Radiant and with the direct war experience that she has mm. after Rhythm of War. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is not just someone who's capable of cracking a book. She could serve in any role on this She team. does have other skills, that's for sure. And it's and so nice very to know that your scholar can at least like participate in a fight if needed. 100. As Brian points out, she's an amazing scholar and she also has her full blade and plate. And he also points out that she's a capable leader, but maybe too utilitarian and not sympathetic enough. Um, I'm assuming that means like to be the party leader, which I mm -hmm. also totally agree with. Okay, so the second selection overall, Queen Yasna and devastating, truly devastating <laughs> You're to my anyway. <laughs> selection. I am just absolutely floored that with the, you know, second overall pick Yasna selected, I'm not ready. I'm not prepared, but I'm going to scramble. Brian is asking if Chris was my leader. Yes, I drafted Chris as my party leader. I know she would have been a pick for scholar as well, obviously. But I thought that with my particular scenario that I gave myself, I put her in the role of leader instead of scholar. Okay, I needed some time to recover, to regroup. I was just dealt this blow unexpectedly and had to be prepared to go to number two, but I'm ready. I'm ready for my first overall selection, third overall pick Okay. for Tyler's team, Tyler's fellowship. I am selecting as party leader, Kelsier, the survivor from Mistborn book one. Wow. Okay. 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 I want these vibes that you get from... <laughs> Mistborn. Brian is not surprised by this. Yeah, I see that commentary. It's appreciated. <laughs> I think that the vibe of Mistborn Era 1, the heist movie, the leader able to design and carry out the big plan, execute the big plan, but also build those personal relationships, which each and every member of the crew, that's what I'm seeing from Kelsier in this iteration for my team specifically. Okay, okay. okay. Like he Do you have a specific scenario that you are drafting for? I do have a specific scenario, but I actually want to keep that oh, until the end. It's a secret scenario. Yeah, kind of like I don't okay. want to give away too much of my hand. I guess my first, you know, my party leader kind of gives it away a little bit, just like yours did. You know, you're a little bit more scholarly. You already mentioned well, I already, email. yeah, yeah I you told you gave, all about my scenario. Exactly. So I'm gonna I was too excited that, about it. I'm, gonna I'm hold not a mine. naturally secretive person. <laughs> I'm all about the secrets. I'm like, I want to share with you. I'm going to share that I'm selecting Kelsier <laughs> and that I want him to be that type of team leader. That Kelsier is in book one. Book one. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Important. So we did have a couple of conversations about when does Kelsier technically become something else something in that sliver category um but book one clearly that's before any of that he's a full powered misborn definitely one of the most capable fighters in the cosmere and so certainly you know is not going to need to hold back uh in protecting the squad protecting the fellowship will be right there to Go hard in the fight, but also in the slow moments, in the in-between moments. When you're at the pub or the random way stop, Kelsey is going to be there to bind the crew together. Big now, bad. this is the turn from round one mm -hmm. to round two. The snake draft. So you go back to back, right? Dictates that I okay. am now the first selection and Brooke is the last oh, with our patron I have to team. wait so long for my next one. Yeah, welcome my to one. my world. Oh no, okay. And this is where I think that my position as the third in the draft is mm -hmm. really going to help out. Okay. Yeah, you're welcome to play all the mind games that you want. You can be like saying one thing <laughs> in the public chat, saying something yeah. else in the secret <laughs> chat. I'm going to go with my... Second round pick, fourth overall selection, filling the position or the role of scholar. Okay. I am selecting Twin Soul. Oh. Twin Soul. As your scholar. As my team scholar, Twin Soul 
Personally, I think that's a questionable choice, but you do you. Now, there were lots of different potential options, but my team has been thrown yeah, into disarray. Yeah, I feel like the Cosmere is filled with amazing scholars, and I did not have Twinsoul in my top, like, 15. <gasps> wow, that's that's harsh. No, Twinsoul is not only a detailed thinker and a experienced, more experienced ha. than most of the scholars that you're going to throw out. I don't know. Brian and Will both agree with me. <laughs> That's completely fair. I'm willing to take on the ridiculousness because... Now you guys see what I deal with all the time. I think, A, we already know that Kelsier and Twinsel have a working relationship, though it's later than the Kelsier I'm imagining from Era 1. Twinsel obviously joins the Ghostbloods and is dedicated to that project. I think that really where Twinsel comes in for my team specifically mm -hmm. is he is the balancing act. He is the one that everyone else can I feel like you were trying on. to just get out of actually drafting a scholar and you wanted like an extra fighter. I think that's what, what this is. No, no. Should we veto this choice? A veto on Twin Soul for Scholar. That's really interesting. Yeah. Okay. I will I will allow it this. It seems a little sketchy. Is Twin Soul a scholar? I thought easily, yes, that his role was like primarily, you know, a, a poor man zazed from the Aether world. You know, he was basically just helping That's out the stretch. ghost bloods with uh, document retention. And then rarely able to fight, yes, but like taking a big toll on the, the old man. Oh, Will does say he totally thought he was a scholar. Okay, okay, no veto. It can just be a bad choice and not veto. Yeah, exactly. It can just be a bad choice. You can just hate on my decisions. <laughs> okay, Brian agrees we're, we're allowing it even though it's a bad choice. Ooh, yeah, Will says he has scholar and leader vibes. I think that's totally right. Thank you. This is what I'm talking about. Kelsier Which is good. has the he ability has to go... sort of like a uh, confidant sort of quality. Exactly. That's what I'm looking for. I need someone who can balance out my team and maybe take off some of the harsher edges of some of the other characters. That's what I'm hoping the Twinsel does. But then also providing the Aether ability, which is very lightly explored in the Lost Metal overall. Like we don't have full information yeah. about it. But I, from what I saw... So powerful, creating little spectacles, creating maps, having the ability to design like ladders and quick little mechanisms. I'm thinking very helpful for the challenges that may come. Mm, I don't know. I I agree with Brian. I think he works better as a wild card, but you're making your own team. So thank you. If you fail at your adventure, that's not my problem. <laughs> Okay. We go back to our patron team for their second round selection. Let's give them some time on the clock. All right. It does look like there was a pretty quick decision from our patron team. Is that the final answer? They'll have a, another moment to discuss, but they both kind of came to a consensus rather quickly. Mm. Okay. There we go. The patrons are taking Vin as of the Well of Ascension, as their fighter. She's a full Mistborn at the peak of her powers. She has the thief skills to sneak around, but she is super powerful. Clearly one of the most dangerous fighters in the Cosmere. Obviously a great choice for fighter. She was on my list too. I like the sneaky aspect too, because there's a lot of in That's your true. face fighters mm -hmm. in the Cosmere, but the Vin stealth ability has that stealth add a lot. Yeah, and I think that can definitely be helpful in a lot of different circumstances. They're also mentioning that Vin is pierced so she can see through copper clouds. So that's another useful skill she brings to the table. Yeah, I love this idea about Vin is that she may not appear to be the strongest, but punches well above her weight class and brings a lot of savvy and experience to fights. Totally. Love it. This now means that Brooke is ready for her second round pick, the sixth pick overall. Okay. You got I, it? Yeah, I got it. Love it. I'm now really excited that I'm going to get to draft twice in a row. Exactly. Like, it's oh, a fun wow. part of the turn. This is great. Okay. I am going to draft my fighter. And for my fighter, I am drafting Azure. Unbelievable. 
unbelievable. Was that your? That pick was my too? fighter. <laughs> that was one hundred percent my fighter. I wanted Azure so bad. I'm this so just, impressed with you for putting Azure on your list. Not just on my list. She is a core concept of what I was going for. And now it's just thrown to the wind. I am just on the ropes Sucks here. for you. It really does. <laughs> okay, so that's an Azure selection. Yeah, I love Azure as my fighter because as of um, Oathbringer, she's got great combat skills. She's clearly been around for a while, so she knows a lot about the Cosmere, has trained with Vasher, et cetera, et cetera. She's got some type of maybe awakened-ish blade. She has awakening abilities. So again, I feel like, one, she's a great fighter, but two, she has a lot of knowledge and know-how and savvy to contribute on our cross-Cosmere National Treasure adventure. Love the title as well for your adventure. (laughs) Now, there have been a couple of questions coming up in the discussion board. One is about restrictions on the character of the God King. And I just want to say that while he may not technically be a sliver, mm, he I say reaches that level veto God of King. sliverness. So God King, 100% unavailable for selection. Don't even try. Yeah, no to that. Lord Ruler, the same. I believe that you could theoretically select Reshek, who would be a full oh. Farukamist. Yeah. But you cannot Pre-ascension select exactly. Anyone Reshek. who's ascended is out. And I just consider the God King to be like near ascension. Basically ascended. Yeah. I think that's a lot of power. Okay. Round three. Now, for your third round, it goes right back to you. So you are selecting. Well, you have selected your fighter and your party leader. Yes. Love it. I'm being super boring and just going in order. So my next pick is my scholar. Okay. And I am going to draft Navani as my scholar. Love it. Navani, the mother of machines. Yep. She has some bondsmith abilities, which I think will be helpful. And she can also create fabrials. Obviously, she's also just like super interested in learning stuff. So she's going to be great on our knowledge quest. Truly love the Navani pick. Not only is your team filled with geniuses and badasses, I also think they are going to look fantastic on their adventure. I know. I mean, it's really like you could make an Ocean's 8 movie with with my team for sure. Oh, yes. I... Love the movie Ocean's 8. So I'm really vibing on that experience. The round three selection goes back over to the patrons. And I think that we're going to give them some time to make a final decision because they have selected Yasna and Vin, but that's Scholar and Fighter. Right. Leaving them with a necessary selection of Party Leader and Wild Card. Yeah. So we have a question that has come in from the patrons, which is if there's a character selected like Six of the Dusk, does that individual come with their associated AVR? I think yes, for now, sure. I definitely think that that's a yes as well. Easy agreement for me there. Six comes with their AVR in the same way that Kaladin would come with Sil. That yeah. there is a bonded nature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But just as an example, Vin does not come with Tensoon because while they're friends, they're not bonded in that same way. Yeah, that's way. a completely separate character. Exactly. It could be a great wild card, to be honest. Tensoon is a wild card. I'm just throwing oh. out that. That's a possibility. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting yeah, yeah, yeah. choice. Interesting of choice. Of course, of course. I feel like there are a lot of interesting choices for wild card. Wild card can be anyone and everyone. It is... Except the True ones that name. have already been banned. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Banned characters are never allowed. <laughs> but they can be anything and they don't have to do a specific role. It can just be there for fun. Or superpowers. That's right. No one was clever enough to put Tensoon in the wild. They were like humans only. Yeah. I mean, I would say for Brian and Will, you can sort of make executive decisions in the moment because you're the ones here. 100%. We give you full authority and the patrons also give you full authority. I like the discussion so much. It's really good. <laughs> okay. With 100% of the patron votes in, 
the collective has decided on six of the dusk for their third round pick. And that's for their wild card. As the wild card roll, I love six of the dusk. Now, they've been saying a couple of things. We just mentioned, yes, that comes with the AVR. Incredibly powerful to bring along that magic source. But just six themselves. Yeah, his ability to forage and survive in the wilderness. Someone pointed out that you know, Yasna doesn't have a whole lot of, you know, outside skills necessarily, and neither does Vin being from the city. And so having some diversity there is what Sixth is going to offer, which is great. I think that Six brings a lot of those skills that have heretofore been lacking with our patrons. It's just a, a good add to the versatility. And you know that if you can survive Pat G, then almost any task should be no problem for you. Brian wants to make sure that we say that Rock would be a great wild card pick and deserves an honorable mention. I like that. Just throwing in other things that I could have chosen. I actually do like that. I honestly didn't even think of Rock when I was thinking about my draft, but he's got a lot of great qualities. You guys are smarties. Once again, the draft choice comes to me, and these are my final decisions. I'm Mm going to go back to back here for round three and four. Oh my gosh. Okay. And so I need a moment to really decide here. I have been on, I've just been getting hit (laughs) left and right. I feel a little dazed and confused. Yes. Dazed and confused without the associated euphoria that one would expect. I am just sitting here completely flabbergasted and I need to, I need to pick up my team from the dregs. (laughs) From the remnants. Yes, of what it could have been. Because I think that y'all have just been making great selections overall. I mm-hmm. applaud you. Totally. But with people my people have brought really creative ideas too. I was really afraid that this was gonna be a lot of people just like, I want Kaladin. No, I want Kaladin. Fine, I'll take Dalinar. <laughs> and just like, you know, all the I main characters. <laughs> for the other major characters. Yeah. <laughs> so I like that people really thought outside the box. Now, the two roles that I still need to select here are my fighter and my wild card. Okay. Order, you know, doesn't technically matter because I go back to back. So my fighter, my wild card. Okay. This is thinking silence. The radio is still on. (laughs) There's a lot of strategizing happening. Yeah, I'm deep in it right now. We've demolished his original plans, so he's regrouping. Even six. I thought six was an easy call that I could get at any time, and I love six. <laughs> I thought no one would even talk about six, and then apparently it's one of the most popular selections from the patrons. There's a couple. There's a couple of characters that are on my list that I'm surprised that no one has picked yet. Brian says we just mocked his twin soul pick, and it left him stunned. <laughs> Because I had to select that one on the fly. I wasn't ready for that as my major selection. And so my backup selection met everyone like, that's a terrible selection. Like, I'm really glad that this was your idea and you were super excited about it and you're the one getting owned. <laughs> Once again, this is for a fellowship of your own choosing. Like I my, win. My adventure will be great. This is not a fight against everyone. Okay. I think I've got it. Okay. This is my selection for round three, round four, and I'm feeling my wild card, and my fighter role. I'll say with round three, I am going to select my fighter. Okay. Kaladin Stormblessed. Okay, Kaladin's off the table, kids. Of bridge four, ever heard of him? (laughs) Kaladin is clearly one of the most powerful entities in the entire Cosmere. I'm going fourth ideal, Okay. Kaladin, (laughs) post Rhythm of War, and... My boy has fully developed in so many different ways. Personally, yes. Well, we'll, we'll find Mentally, out yeah, in I'm not book saying five he's perfect. how much I'm he's not saying really... he's perfect. However, we are talking full plate, controllable plate, able to save other maybe weaker members of my party. For true, example, true, true. Syl coming with Kaladin. Clearly, we're bringing a lot of fun. We're bringing some random hijinks. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Uh I think that there's some pranks going on. Just a lot of spontaneity and joy. Oh, I'm thinking that Kelsier and Syl combo is going to be fantastic. Kaladin's going to be bummed about it, but then they're all going to start having fun hijinks together. It's going to be great. Honestly, Twin Soul might be great for Kaladin. I feel like Twin Soul has sort of a grandfatherly energy that maybe Kaladin would really like. 
Yes, of course. I think Kaladin needs that. You know, he's around a lot of military young people or aggro people. He needs someone who's just like been experienced, yeah, like seen a, it all. A better, well, I don't want to say better, but another father figure, right? Yeah, Liren's got some rough spots, but they live in a rough world. Well, and you know, Soul, it's just hard to relate to your parents. Exactly. But you bring in Twin Soul, that's going to be a guiding experience. Give something, Kaladin. A lot of focus on, as I said, Twin Soul, a key member of the party. Because he is balancing everybody out. He takes off the edges of Kaladin's sadness and depression. He takes off the edges of Kelsier's harshness and brutality and is binding my team together using the secret weapon. But we're going to get into that later. Because, well, it's your pick next. Yes, of course. So my next pick for and my final pick for round yeah, four. Yeah. This one's tough because it's one of those situations. I feel like I'm in a How I Met Your Mother situation where i had my wild card selection pre-planned from the very beginning oh okay, and then my team okay. was was built changed. around your wild card yes wow that Maybe is not interesting completely built around my wild strategy. card but i definitely wanted a different grouping with this i feel like i've now arrived at somewhat of a basic team but i'm i'm happy with it because with my wild card selection i am bringing the shield of harmony wayne twinborn to the party Okay. Wayne's going to be making us drinks. Wayne is going to be bringing us, again, together as a group. This is very important to me if you haven't figured it out yet. There is a collective need for my group to really love each other, to to come together <laughs> as just a bunch of misbegotten toys. I feel like this is not going to work out the way you're imagining it. Kelsier is going to hate Wayne. He is way too goofy and like off the rails kelsier is going to be like yep. get on task of course and wayne needs that each party member kaladin is also going to be each annoyed other. with wayne although wayne might fill the hole in kaladin's heart left by the lopin yeah kaladin is you know not going on this adventure with lopin at least he has wayne see kaladin fills the wax role for wayne wayne fills kaladin's missing role from like bridge four that's going to be great for them each member is playing off one another. They're balancing themselves out. I feel like accidentally I've managed to just pick a fairly generic group of teammates. But well, Twinsel. at the same Twinsel's time, a surprise. at the same time, I think that for any adventure that a party needs to go on, what we have in spades is the ability to dish out some damage. Like we can yeah, do throw you wanna, a whole bunch. Do you want to tell us what your I want you guys to be able to finish. Is? I've been talking a lot around this. So I want you to be able to finish. Uh, the patrons are going to select next. I'm going to write down both mm -hmm. of my options. And then we'll we'll come together for a closing story type of thing. Uh, I just want surprises. to uh, sort of comment on some of the discussions happening in the chat right now. Because someone's mentioning characters being more powerful than others just remember depending on what adventure you're going on it's not necessarily about the most powerful um it might be about other skills that they bring to the table yeah as i said wayne is mainly making drinks for my team so <laughs> <laughs> okay. we believe that we have agreement for the patrons answer. yes okay they are bringing for their party leader ellen venture at the end of Hero of Ages, specifically. Yeah, so this is full Mistborn. And to be fair, one of the you know more powerful Mistborns because yeah. of the Lerasium bead. I like that the thing that really clinched it for Ellen is the fact that he and Vin work so well together as a team. Yeah, this is really important and part of drafting your team is that Vin and Ellen are a combo that's more powerful than just them by themselves or independently. They become better because they are together. And Brian is also mentioning that Elland is also a scholar. So you've got a little bit of a bonus there. And specifically, Elland is a Laracium Mistborn, which, as we've seen, is the most powerful kind. And he is both idealistic and realistic, having the full experience of the fall of Scadrial, basically, under his belt. So this is a 
wizened and mature Ellen, who's also incredibly powerful. But then also pointing out that like Vin and Sixth have a lot of sort of street smarts. Mm -hmm. And so I like that they're diversifying here by bringing in Ellen, who again has more of the sort of scholarly aspect. I love that point that um, Ellen brings out the best in people. And that's a really important quality in a leader. That's a really great point that I actually didn't think of. Now, I want to call out their entire team in order. Okay. They have party leader, Ellen, fighter, Vin, scholar, Yasna, and wild card, Six of the Dusk. An incredible team. It, That's a pretty cool team. selection it's from the It's very well balanced. Yeah, I totally agree, Brian, that Raiden would have been a really good leader. As soon as I saw that on your guys' list earlier, I was like, oh, yes, Raiden would be great. Because I think he and Ellen have kind of similar qualities in exactly what you said, like bringing out the best in people, sort of finding ways to unite people together, inspiring people. So both great picks. With the very last selection from first to last, you are up. (gasps) Round four, rounding out your team. Tell us about the final member of the fellowship. Well, finally, I am drafting my wild card. And for my wild card, I'm drafting Nikki Savage. Nikki Savage! Nikki Savage as she appears in The Lost Metal. Love it. Yeah. Of course, we see the broadsheets with Nikki Savage. Because by then, she seems to know a lot more about the Cosmere. Mm -hmm. Um, She's got some fighting skills, which is great. She, I think, would just do really well on our cognitive realm trek adventure. Absolutely. I mean, you have created a powerhouse of a team. Would you like to introduce us to your entire Cosmere Fellowship? (laughs) Sure. My team, we've got party leader, Chris, fighter, Azure, scholar, Navani, and then wildcard, Nikki Savage. Just a group of... Baller bitches, I must say. You must say it, and it is true. What a collection of teams that we have here. Now, last kind of wrap-up bits. Let's throw in a surprise. Oh, okay. If the patrons are ready, and I know that you are, you can handle this. Cosmere Animal what? to add to the team. An On animal. the fly, any animal from the Cosmere. It can be another <laughs> AVR. It has to be an animal, not a, not a spren. Those are two. Although... It, I'll throw you a bone and you can pick like a regular spren, but it can't be a bonded spren. You don't become a radiant. Spren count as animals? No, no, no. Like the, uh, the regular, like a flame spren. If you just want a cool little flame spren. That's not an animal. I am throwing it out as a possibility. Obviously, that's a stretch, but Cosmere animal, anyone that you want, add to your team. Okay. I'm going to say sure blood. Ooh. Remind us. Sure blood uh, is. Adolin's Rishadium. What a wonderful RIP, decision. Yeah. But I am bringing him back to life metaphorically to be on my team. I mean, legitimately, you are bringing him back to life because this is a <laughs> real thing that all of these characters are going on. Brandon's going to start writing immediately for us. <laughs> oh, these are the next set of secret projects, actually, is each yeah. one of the teams getting their own adventure. <gasps> Okay, so that was your surprise draft pick. Thank you for playing along. Patrons, can you do a surprise draft pick? Any animal from across the Cosmere? Yes, Brian says, can we choose Adolin because he's the human embodiment of a good boy? (laughs) I say yes. I vote yes. Mostly because it's a crime that Adolin was not actually drafted by anyone. There's no way we can allow Adolin as an animal. I say yes. No, I'm going to I'm going to ixnay that. No humans <laughs> as animals. This is a strictly bonus animal only and maybe a spren or two will be allowed. But like uh, you know, you can't you can't call Adolin an animal. <laughs> Tensoon I'd Ooh, allow. Ooh, cheery cheery. Cheery cheery is a great one. Tensoon is more of a person. Like if I was really splitting hairs. If you're going allow... to count spren as animals, I think you can count Tensoon in a dog body. I will see what the patrons want. I'm going to say Tensuno would be open to because he's such a great mascot of Vin and Vin's on their team and Ellen's on their team. So it would go really well with their That's team. That's true. This okay, is Okay. Okay. They're backing off Tensoon. <laughs> Everyone could get Suni pups though. The true Suni pup, <laughs> not the imposter pups. Seriously, we definitely need an actual Suni pup plushie. 
and the patrons have come back with once again the selection that I was thinking of when well, I made obviously, this poll. Obviously, this is a great choice. It cheery, is a, cheery, cheery, cheery is the selection of the patrons for their you know mascot animal of their fellowship, and truly a wonderful selection. I am now yeah, left. That's great. Without a decision once again. And so I will return to the center. Think of all my little Cosmere animals. There's not that many. Oh, it's not an animal heavy world. That is for dang sure. I mean, I guess you could have like a pet chasm fiend. Don't tempt me. <laughs> my whole team is now built around how do we keep this chasm fiend alive? <laughs> how do we move this chasm fiend from left to right? Because no, my team's going across the entire Cosmere. I need something like Lyft's chicken. The... Oh. Chicken that Lyft adopts. But we don't know in what Rhythm its of powers War. are. I, I'm You're not okay claiming that? that I am not looking to get a, an extra edge, but I think in honor of uh, Brandon and his love of parrots, one of the teams has got to have a bird as their representative. Okay. So, no, I'm uh, selecting for my animal avatar. My animal friend is Lyft's chicken. Does it have a name? No. We're going to look into that, but Lyft's chicken. So. I am very surprised that no one chose Lyft as their wild card. Lyft makes a great wild card. She was my second choice for wild card. Interesting. I think that Lyft has all the abilities that you can want. Yeah, Lyft has weird abilities, which could be super helpful. You know, bring people back to life. That one's clutch. But I did tease you a little bit with my story that I think my team is going on, that I kind of built my whole idea around. And yeah, I, you were so secretive. Now I need to know what this great adventure is. Yes. I don't know if it's going to be a great adventure, but it will be an adventure. And I think that it's an important one, one that uh, is going to take us through the Cosmere. The journey that I imagine my team going on was to discover what happened on Ashen. Oh, a exploratory okay. yeah. committee traveling Investigation. to yes, traveling to Ashen or around the Cosmere to figure out what has happened. And okay, I know it makes sense why Tw- Twinsel would go on that journey. Twinsel is my secret weapon. In it this. also kind of makes sense why Kaladin would go on that journey because at course. least it's like his it's a planet. Up. Yep, I'm not totally convinced that Kelsey or, or Wayne would really care. Kelsier, you can make an argument for. Wayne, I feel like, would not care. I don't need Wayne to care. Wayne cares about the people he's around. That's what the shield does. It doesn't take on the leadership role. It just kind of follows people and protects them. That's what Wayne is there for. I do think that Kaladin has some motivation. Imagine Stormlight Archive 5 goes fine for him. And then it's just, hey, what happened on the nearby planet to start all this jazz up? He's down. Twin Soul, my secret weapon. Twin yeah, Soul that is makes sense. linked to Silijana, that connection in any situation, but in this one specifically, I think is going to come in really powerful because obviously the investiture and the Adenalsium shards, they got all mixed up on the shards. I'm thinking the Aethers have more information about what may have happened. Yeah, they might have more information, but also Twinsel's homeworld has been... Mm -hmm destroyed in some way at least and so his interest in discovering what happened to ashen maybe that helps him fix his own planet that makes sense to me i've already talked about my sweet adventure scenario i'm also i really love these teams because my team is all ladies your team is all dudes Mm -hmm. and then patrons drafted half and half yeah way to go team yeah it's so perfect Really appreciate the participation from Brian and Will and all the patrons who played along. A little bit of fun. Yes, it was the first annual Cosmere (laughs) Fellowship draft, but it could be done in the future. I think there's a lot of fun things. For example, we could write ahead of time or have submissions on quests. And then we have oh. to draft for that quest. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Lots of different possibilities. And we really appreciate everyone. Thanks so much, really, guys. It was a lot of fun. Thank, Thank you, you so Brian much. Thank you, Brian and Will. This was great. 
Now, we didn't want to leave the other patrons out in the dark too much. Know that there was some submissions from individuals who were not able to be here live while we were recording. And I think there were just a lot of great polls for people, even if we didn't have their explanations and their rationale. For example, Seth threw out Marsh as the Inquisitor. Which Super interesting pick. Definitely could have served as a great wild card as no one brought that up. And so you have had a combo of different and then you just drop in Marsh. It's like, oh, that's a full Mistborn almost. He's also got Rushu on his list as the scholar who is from Rashar. So super interesting pick there. She's super smart. Yeah. Rushu was on the trip with Risen, right? She shows up a couple of times as like kind of a background character. I think at one point she's like on Navani's team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she pops pops her head in every once in a while. Another popular option for patrons was Shy or Moonlight. Forger yep. extraordinaire makes a lot of sense. I thought about putting her on some of my picks, but I feel like she's a little bit of a generalist where I felt like she wasn't maybe specialized enough in any one thing. You know, like, yeah, she can fight, but she's not really a fighter. Mm -hmm. I feel like, yeah, she probably knows some stuff, but she's not really like a scholar. Totally so, understand. She has kind of a, a versatile magic system and is kind of a versatile character. Yeah, for and sure. And I think that suits her well. I would maybe put her as like a wild card pick. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. A wild card could be a great role for Shy because they just fit in wherever the team needs. I'm also surprised because one of Seth's picks is also Hoyd for wild card. I'm surprised none of us drafted Hoyd. Yeah, it wasn't even a consideration. I, he was on my list. Um, as was He was on mine as well, but he doesn't fit into any type of team he in does my not mind. seem to be a team player and I, I was all about the team even as my team was falling down around me <laughs> i still wanted a really strong team yeah what else do we have well i think that there should be special mention for raiden we had yes patron bob mysterious who had raiden as one of the possible party leaders yep i think that's such a good call for a party leader just overall, Elantrians are likely far more powerful than we realize because uh -huh. we didn't have a book with like full powered Elantrians. We totally. were figuring out yeah. what was wrong with them for the most part. But seeing what Shy was able to do as a forged Elantrian and just knowing that Elantris powers may not be limited to Elantris in the right. far future of the Cosmere yeah. is really cool to know. So definitely thought Raiden was a great option as well. This person also casted Twin Soul as a scholar, so you're not the only one. Yeah, Twin Soul was <laughs> definitely on a couple of people's lists as a scholar. I understand the questionable nature, but they certainly seem to be filling that role for the Ghostbloods, and we just don't know much about them overall. There were some honorable mentions, I think, for Rabaniel and Lesian, a couple of our fused. Interesting who choices. Could have come into, it's very questionable because of the fused, those are probably the two that wouldn't mind working with non-fused, but that's not the fused strong point. Oh, so yeah, if you were just like, know. my team is half fused and half radiance, I don't know if that's going to work well. They're casting Raboniel as their party leader and then Lesian as their fighter. Lesian as the fighter, I totally get. Mm -hmm. Raboniel is party leader i don't know i could see i would actually wonder leshwi as party leader that's what i was thinking maybe leshwi but rabaniel can definitely lead and then rabaniel as scholar like yeah. you could build a whole team just of fused. just fused yeah certainly if you wanted to i mean that's the the power of the cosmere there's so many characters is that this draft could have been a lot bigger and could have had more participants for sure and certainly you know we could have had a a six man squad that we are trying to fill for or something like that. Yeah. So thanks again for giving us that participation. And did you have any major qualms with the draft? Did you feel like your team was everything that you wanted it to be? Yeah, I got all of my number one picks. So my team is amazing. Let me see other people that I want to give a shout out to my some of my other options for party leader. I had Adolin who mm -hmm. I think would be a great party leader because 
Everybody loves him. I think he does a really good job of like uniting people. That was my goal with my party leader was to cast somebody who would really be able to bring people together and give the group direction. Yeah. Honor is not dead as long as it lives in the heart of men. And Adolin is where Honor lives. That is true. And then another choice that I had for party leader was actually code names Ooh, for the same like reasons. It. I think code names has a lot of knowledge that we haven't necessarily seen on screen, but we hear about both when she is a little girl. She's really, really into studying and learning. And when we see her as an adult, she obviously has practice traveling around the Cosmere. And I think she's got a great personality that will bring people together. Completely agree. Now you have a very strong team overall, but interestingly, you do have what I would call a somewhat uh, weak to attack team. A like I like your team, mm-hmm. but they do seem a little weak on the defensive side. You know, on the fighting um, side because they're women. No, not at all. That has nothing to do with it. Azure is a total beast, and as I mentioned, was my number one fighter selection azure is obviously the fighter Mm -hmm. and so she's a fighter duh however like i already said nikki has fighting abilities Mm -hmm. nikki is also a leecher so she has the ability to absorb or remove investiture from others i forgot that she's a specialist in like hand-to-hand combat getting close exactly and then that should work actually on anyone's powers yeah so she could touch a radiant and they should be drained in the same way that little fabriel drains them in rhythm of war right yeah amazing exactly that's so very that's a cool. super useful and versatile mm-hmm. skill so nikki is sort of the backup fighter navani i'm gonna be honest she doesn't have a lot of fighting skills but, but she's when, also the scholar when did so. your selection of navani come because she's also a radiant so if not a fighter yeah. directly she can survive basically anything uh, yeah, yeah. No, it's Navani at the end of Rhythm of War. Okay. So she is bonded. Full, yeah, full radiant. Yeah. We won't uh, get Bond into Smith. like questions of if the tower, if the sibling <laughs> yeah. can leave can Rashar. Can travel, yeah. yeah. But, but we'll just, I, mean, I think that's really We're strong. leaving aside a lot of questions, questions like that. Yeah. Of course. And then Chris, we haven't necessarily seen her fight, but I would be very surprised if she's gotten as far as she has with no fighting skills whatsoever. I imagine her being more of like a dueling canes type person. Sure, of course. And I feel like we've although, seen her with a gun. She does have guns. Yeah. I, yeah. She's a she's a sharpshooter. So she has some, you know, light fighting skills, but I also imagine Chris is more of a stealth Mm -hmm. fighter she's like the poison in your drink she's gonna kill you before you even attack her yeah i mean to get back to your prompt kind of the oceans 11 the original ocean danny ocean was famous for his heist happening when he was not allowed to go in the casinos Right. right it's his whole team is operating and he just like waves from afar and that's kind of like chris's ability too she plans it all out yeah exactly so I think we we have enough fighting skills and I wasn't putting my team in a situation where, you know, we're not going to slay a dragon or Mm -hmm. overwhelming force is not the main thing that we need. War is not our adventure. Mm -hmm. Like we're going on a on a knowledge finding adventure. So we need some fighting skills just in case. Of course. But that's not the focus of the team. Yeah. Indiana Jones style. Yeah. Like, exactly. Like, yeah, there's force. gonna be some danger. There's gonna be some things where you might need, you know, a whip or a gun real quick. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I just want to point out, with maybe the exception of Twin Souls mobility, which might not be high. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My team can slay any challenge. That yeah, you your team is would like very to dish out sharp. I, I love this concept as well because my whole thing, as I mentioned during the draft, Wayne was the center point of my draft. I needed Wayne on my team for one reason, and that is the speed bubble. Obviously, Wayne's a healer as well. Yeah. And he can survive a lot of combat, hand to hand, amazing. But no, I need speed bubbles because my boys. In this case, it wasn't always my boys, but in this case, <laughs> my boys, Kelsier and Kaladin, can come crash down to Earth, group up with the squad, come up with a quick plan. Our captain can call it out, tell us what to do, all within the speed bubble. And then once that speed bubble drops, imagine 
a burst of stormlight from Kaladin as he goes soaring up in the air. Kelsier pushing off his metal, flying around, and then Twin Soul emerging as some rose golem like dragon thing. I guess Twin Soul and Wayne would be a good combo because they Wayne stay on the could speed bubble Twin Soul. So that Twin Soul has enough time to build his like Rosite Golem. Yes. Because obviously Twin Soul without the Rosite is going to die very quickly. Maybe die. But I think that, yeah, Wayne and Twin Soul are staying together and they are dealing with, you know, the close quarters on the ground type of situations. Even if Twin Soul was just providing a couple of simple Aether moves, like throwing a line out so people tripped over it. That gives Wayne the opportunity that he needs to come smash some heads with his fighting canes. So Wayne kind of protects Twin Soul in the fighting situations. Kaladin and Kelsier dish out all the damage that you can possibly want. And clearly, we got a cool chicken who's just flying around, squawking at any bad guys. If you were going to add one more person to your team, who would you add? If I was going to add someone or if I was going to replace no, someone. No, add. Okay, so a new someone on my team. Yeah. So another wild card, they can just do anything? Yeah, and okay. it can be anyone. It doesn't, like, disregarding the draft. Just if you were going to add another person, who would it be? Oh, it can be someone that has already been selected? Sure. Interesting. Well, one of the things that I wanted to bring in was magic from every world. Oh, I got tripped okay. up with that because Kelsier became yeah Kelsier and Wayne uh, exactly so they're they're both from Scadrill but I'm I'm missing out on an awakening or an awakener and so I would certainly bring in Azure if I could pick anyone Vasher okay. if I just needed to pick a mm. person not selected yeah Vasher is also a great pick I'm surprised none of us put Vasher on our teams it's partly because of the fact that there just weren't that many drafting teams that many creators that's true. so there are plenty that's of options true. and there really wasn't like a push to go incredibly deep into the cosmere repertoire yeah and we were only drafting four people i think if i was gonna put one more person on my team i would put lift you really like that lift what do you think lifts adding to the team especially the all lady team that you created yeah so lift obviously adds to my lady team yep. i think lift is kind of the definition of a wild card. Mm, she got has a you. Lot True of, game breaker. Yeah. Super valuable and like weird skills that nobody else has. She has regrowth. So she would be able to revive and like heal any of my team that did get hurt. She can slip through the cognitive realm all weirdly. And like, who knows when you're going to need that. Mm -hmm. you Especially know? on your journeys across the Cosmere. Yeah, exactly. Love it. Wonderful decisions. Thanks so much for participating in this fellowship draft. Absolutely loved it. Absolutely love the patrons. Thank you all. Brooke, can you take us away? Until next time, life before death. Strength before weakness. Journey before destination. Mm -hmm.